few days back i covered this gen nano model from menlo which was a 4 billion compact model specially geared towards model context protocol and agentic applications that model seemed quite promising especially when it comes around integrating it with external apis and real world use cases interestingly enough menlo has just released yet another flavor of this gen nano model and this time they have come up with 128k version which is another compact 4 billion parameter model designed for deep research applications this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel in this video we are going to install this new model locally and we are going to test it out this new model features a lengthy 128k native context window that represents a significant advancement over its predecessor gen nano unlike traditional context extension that often suffer from performance degradation this model is built from the ground up to handle long context efficiently maintaining and even improving performance across the full context <clears throat> range which makes it quite impressive in my opinion if it works but we will test it out the extended context window enables processing of entire research papers lengthy documents and complex multi-tenant conversation in a single session while maintaining full compatibility with model context protocol servers for seamless integration with various research tools and external data sources and endpoints so let's get started by installing it i am going to use this ubuntu system and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram the tool which i am going to use in order to serve this model is this which is vllm that is a fast lightweight inference engine and if you don't know what vllm is and how to get it installed just go to my channel and then from there just search with vllm and then watch the second video where you will learn how to get it installed locally step by step very easy tutorial so i already have it installed so i'm not going to do it again and as soon as you run it it starts downloading the model and its tokenizer and if you look at this serving command not only we are specifying the model but the host and port plus tool choice or basically this is a function calling capability which we are enabling and then we are also enabling the long context length with rope scaling if you don't know what rope scaling is again i have covered it in the channel but in very simple words rope scaling is the ability of a language model to extend uh, to handle longer context sequences beyond what it was originally trained for so in this case we are stretching the model's position understanding by a factor of 3.2 to support the world full 128k context window using a method called as yarn scaling so that is uh, what is happening here okay so the model is now downloaded and you can see that it has then processed the model and now the server is serving it on localhost now let me show you how you can access the model now in order to check the long context and also the abilities of this model in terms of how long does it take for this substantial piece of text so for that what i have done i have taken this classic novel moby dick from project gutenberg so really hats off to them and um i will also be donating some you know proceed which will be of course not much from this video to project gutenberg now what here i'm doing i'm trying to test out that if model is able to remember details from early chapters while processing the later ones then can it compare character development across the entire novel and then connect foreshadowing with conclusions and if it is able to provide specific quotes and references so after loading the model this is what i'm asking and these are very very grounded nuanced questions from the moby dick novel and it is checking all of the stuff which i just mentioned above then i'm accessing the model on localhost at this um, port and then this is the models and name so let me take you to my terminal and then let's run this maybe 
meanwhile i will also start up my vram consumption script so that you should be able to see what exactly it is doing in terms of vram consumption so i'm going to start this in real time you see that it is using the full context length of around 128k it is sending the request to the model processing all context let's check if it is uh, how much vram it is consuming so it is consuming close to 45 gig of vram as you can see here which is huge for a 4 billion model for but of course it is consuming all of it uh, for the context length and you can see that it already finished processing my prompt and looks pretty good to me it has if i quickly go down so yep it has given me the responses and if i quickly check the responses they are pretty grounded pretty nuanced and then key scenes you see it has it hasn't wavered it, it's not hallucinating it is giving me the answers from the whole novel so the whole novel um not the whole novel i would say because the whole novel is around 200,000, but this one is uh, the context length is 128k but still in 128k context length it has covered almost all the stuff which i asked it and the speed is also quite good vram consumption is high but still and you see it has also given us how many tokens it has consumed this is what i have calculated while i was running that vllm inference okay for the next test i'm going to use the classic needle in the haystack which is again a benchmark for testing long context model and which gives us another clear picture of how well the 128k context window actually work in practice so this is the source code which is inserting specific information at very various position at 10 percent 50 percent 90 percent in the moby dick text and test if the model can retrieve it and it also inserts multiple pieces of information uh, and then if it can find all of them or not so primarily with this code i'm testing retrieval accuracy uh, position sensitivity and also multiple information handling now if you would also like to test this code uh, please you know go to my channel do me a favor and then uh, buy me a coffee from the uh, home page of the channel and as i said the proceed will also go to the project gutenberg so this is the link of it and i'm happy to send you the code via email anyway so let me take you back and let me run this needle in the haystack test there you go and how fast that is how could, because everything is in the context everything is on the gpu and it has been able to find out um, the secret code from uh, the whole document it was able to insert this and then also retrieve this information and very accurate and then you see at different positions it was able to not only insert it and then retrieve it also it has passed multi-needle test so look i believe pretty good model in terms of long context not bad at all um, the vram footprint is quite high even with 128k context so maybe that can be improved in the next versions but all in all just like the predecessor uh, the jan nano one this one is also quite good but let me know what do you think if you enjoyed it please like the video and like the content and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support